But we start with some updated information on holiday travel. Yeah, across the U.S. today, there have already been more than 2,000 delays, mostly due to weather. Here's a live look at both DFW International and Dallas Love Field. The traffic is definitely picking up right now as we get closer to Thursday. And if you're driving, here's a live look at the roads from our TxDOT camera at I-35 in the Dallas North Tollway. We still have a lot of people getting off work right now, mixing with visitors coming in to see family as well as those folks heading out of town. But if you and your family are traveling by plane this holiday, you already know to expect longer lines and wait times this time of year. Janelle Ford joins us now live from Dallas Love Field. And Janelle, you've got some travel hacks to help make things go a little smoother for travelers. Yeah, I do, actually. Um, it's funny because throughout the day here at Love Field, those long lines have kind of come in waves. If you look now, it's actually not that bad. But look, every year we give the same baseline holiday travel tips. Get to the airport two hours early. Make sure to double check when your flight leaves and out of what gate and have your airlines app downloaded with alerts turned on. But what I'm sharing today takes it a step further. The millions of people traveling through North Texas airports this Thanksgiving all want the same thing, to get to where they're going safely and... Make it as less stressful as possible. It's easier said than done, but we went to both DFW Airport and Dallas Love Field to find ways that can make traveling this holiday a little easier. At DFW, download the airport app. On it, you can find flight information, prepay for parking, and check TSA wait times for all 15 of the airport security checkpoints. It also has a list of vendors in the airport, everything from where to eat to where to shop. Preparedness is key. Once you've made it through security, if you're looking to de-stress, the airport has airline and credit card lounges, most offering a bar and food and an oasis away from the busy terminal. There's also minute suites if you need a nap, and if you need a massage, there's several spa options at the airport. I want to make sure I'm comfortable. For those traveling with kiddos, aside from using technology to keep them occupied. iPads. <laughs> We're going to be honest, it's iPads. The first airport Toys R Us opened Monday in Terminal A. You can't miss the large 3D Jeffrey the Giraffe sculpture out front. There's also a McDonald's playground in Terminal D where kids can let off some pre-flight energy. Across town at Dallas Love Field, the airport doesn't have an app, but its website is a good place for information. There is no prepaid parking here, and airport officials say lots are already packed. They advise exploring other options like using rideshare. Monday, we saw long security lines. It's too late for TSA pre-check, but if you're in a bind, you can enroll in clear. Skip all this line? Very helpful, very helpful. It's the whole reason why I'm signing up for it right now. Once through security, the only airport lounge is the USO for service members. There's a playground for those traveling with kids and plenty of dining options. Now across the board, airlines say they are prepared for this travel rush. The big wild card here is weather, which we all know could cause a lot of issues. Here at Love Field, I'm Janelle Ford.